Today, in just three minutes, we're going to break down a classic interview problem, reversing a linked list. The problem is simple. Given the head of a singly linked list, reverse the entire list and return the new head. For example, if the list is one, two, three, four, and five, after reversing it becomes five, four, three, two, and one. The key requirement is that it must be done in place, meaning the space complexity must be O1. Let's start with an intuitive but incorrect approach. If we use a stack, we could push each node into the stack, then pop them out one by one to reverse the order. Yes, stacks work in a last-in, first-out manner, which makes them perfect for reversing sequences. But the downside is that we need extra memory to store every node, which means the space complexity is O-N, that violates the problem's O-1 space requirement. Now let's go over the correct and most commonly recommended approach in interviews, the three-pointer iterative method. We use three pointers, previous, we'll call it prev, current, or cur, and next. At the start, prev is set to none, and cur points to the head node, which is one. Step one, we save cur.next, which is two, into next. Then we change cur.next, that's node one's next pointer, to point to prev, which is none. The chain is now broken, but that's fine, because we've already saved the next node. Then we move prev forward to one, move cur to two, and repeat the process. Step two. Again, we save cur.next, which is three, into next. Then we point cur.next, that's node two's next pointer, to prev, which is one. Now, two points back to one. Move prev to two, cur to three, and keep going. We continue this. Until we reach the last node, which is five, we save its next pointer, which is none, then point fives next to four. Finally, cur becomes none, the loop ends, and prev is now the new head, which is five. That's the basic idea behind the iterative solution. You just need to be careful not to lose any references and to update pointers in the right order. Here's the Python implementation. It's short and matches exactly what we just walked through. Feel free to pause the video here to study it. The time complexity is O-N because each node is visited once and the space complexity is O-1 because we're only using a few pointer variables, no extra data structures, making it perfectly meet the problem's requirements.